It's on, it's on, we're all running. Hello and welcome to this first video of 2020. And for our first video we're going to do a Cavco Maker Plus simple tutorial. We are going to create some vectors which we are then going to put into our laser and cut out a picture. So this is the screen that uh, is presented when you open Cavco Maker Plus. So we're going to say, come up here and click on New Model. And we're going to keep the resolution slider bar here up as far as it'll go. And at this stage it really doesn't matter the size of, uh, you know, the... the the picture because we're going to alter that in laser cut 6.1 but for this demonstration we're going to put some nice figures in here of 200 millimeters I'm working in millimeters by the way by 200 millimeters and well for a laser the start of the program on my particular laser is up here in this top corner and again at this stage it really doesn't matter because we can alter that in the next program laser 6.1 but it's good practice to to set it now I think anyway and we press OK So this is Cavco Maker Plus that does have the ability to manipulate a 3D relief. Cavco Maker does not have the ability to actually um, manipulate or move then or adjust um, 3D relief individual parts. You can do the whole relief but you can't do individual parts of a relief where Maker can. And I've also seen uh, in a lot of comments uh, that people have um, downloaded uh, Maker and they say, oh, we, we don't have as many tools as you, you have on your screen. Well, that's because this one is Maker Plus and the other one I, I do have is the full-blown Cavco which you know that is a really a professional program that uh, you know you can do absolutely anything with you can start off with uh, just a simple a line drawing and make it into a 3D relief and if you look back uh, in uh, a couple of my past videos I do show you that and I will show you more in the future and I will show you in the future what you can do with all three programs so here we go now what I like to do the easiest way I, I think to to handle this is to just simply drag and drop it into Kafka your image and in this case just like that. Um, in actual fact, we can we can set the size here if we want to. Um, we'll set that up there, and we'll set the size for 200. Millimeters. That's okay because we're just doing a simple. Okay, so we have our picture and it's a little bit grainy, a little bit pixely. That's because the original drawing of this was a fairly low resolution. Uh, that won't change, but it really doesn't matter to us because we're just, we just want Cavco to draw around, just trace around this for the laser. So to do that, we come up here to the 
bitmap to vector tool. And it brings up a, a, a dialog box. A dialog box is, uh, is just really some way of the program communicating with you to, so Kafka can find out exactly what you want it to do. Now, what we need to do is reduce the colors because there's probably over 250 colors in there. Even though we just see black and white, there's a lot more other colors. So we have to reduce that down to two colors black and white. Now to do that you come up here to this reduce colors and catch up the slider bar and pull it all the way down to two colors and you can see that it's gone very sort of pixely. Let's have a little look here. Let's raise it up a bit to four. I think that's a little better perhaps? Yes. So I'm going to apply that. Now I'll show you why I did that. Is because if you take it all the way down to 2 immediately, you see it's gone a little bit, you lose some of the definition here. Now I don't know whether I can pick that definition back up by taking it to 4 Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to try. So I'm going to apply that. Then I'm going to come down to this corner here, bottom corner, you'll see there's four squares. And you'll see that there's a black square over the top of a white square. I hope you can see that, just about. And there's two little grey squares here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to link the darker grey up with the black, see the picture change, and the lighter grey with the white. Does that do any better? Not really, it's okay though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to get Kavco to draw the vectors around this and then I'm going to delete some of the vectors I don't want. Now some of these messy vectors in here, I don't want them. So we can delete them then. So we're going to say, oh, if I just point this out to you, speckle size. Now this number two, that just represents um, pixels. And each, the, the whole picture is made up of pixels, little tiny squares. So what that is saying to Kavco, or what you're relating to Kavco, and this might help us out actually, <coughs> is two pixels or less don't draw around it. So if you can see there's individual pixels here, I don't think it's going to draw around it at all this one it will and this one it will so Kafka is going to sort out some of the problem now so we're just going to say create vectors or oh, before I create vectors the second figure here 75 that's the smoothness level if you drop that figure down it will tend to want to make straighter lines 75% uh, it's nice smooth lines and you'll see as soon as I press create vectors there lovely and smooth vectors so the vectors that we don't want are see it didn't it didn't create vectors here which is great so now we can delete vectors so we just choose our tool up here and we'll oh let's get rid of that first so now we can say that one let's come off here deselect you need to deselect the vectors so then you can reselect the ones now press down shift if you want more than one vector deleted that one 
that one. I don't think there's any more that we need deleting. No, that's okay. So we come up here to edit and delete. So those vectors there are now gone. That is looking okay. So that's the basic drawing then that we want. And we're going to save these vectors now and we can put that into our laser and the laser will cut this out. And what I intend to do with this uh, video is I am going to do several different types of uh, work with the laser, etching and cutting, and I'm going to layer them up to make one picture. So now we will save these vectors in a format that the laser program can understand. So we come up here to vectors. Oh, better select them first. That's a good idea, I think. So we selected our vectors. So Curve Go now knows we want these lines or these vectors saved somewhere. Vectors, there you go. Now the export lights up. I'll just show you that again. See now I've deselected. Come up here to vectors and export is, is not highlighted, it's grayed out. So if you have that problem, it means that you Cavco doesn't know what you want it to save. So you say to Cavco, well this is a way of saying to Cavco, these vectors that I have selected here, I want you to export them to my desktop. Now, what you need to do is save it as a DXF AutoCAD file. Okay, that's the type of file that you need to save it in. Um, we're just going to say AUS. I just abbreviate everything. So as long as I can understand what it is, that's fine. So we just export those vectors. It's actually saved them onto my desktop. And there, from there, I can put them into the next program. 